All right, so the Office of the Registrar has a lot to do with registration, um, which you may or may not have begun to realize over the summer when you were doing your first registration for the fall semester. Um, now is the time where <laughs> it will be really, really helpful if you get to know their website because many of your questions and many of the things that you are wondering right now, the answers of them are actually going to be found on the Office of the Registrar's website. Um, so up here you can see the URL and of course we're going to have a button right below this video in the guide um, but as we scroll down we'll start to see the content that you need um, here is the academic catalog we'll talk about this a little bit further down into this episode um, and I'll, I'll kind of walk you through the catalog a little bit more. Here's the academic calendar, which you learned about in our last episode. Um, and as we keep scrolling down, we'll see important COVID information, academic planning, and registration. Um, right below it, you can see exactly what that means. So changing your major, declaring a major, reviewing the communication intensive requirement, etc. cetera. Um, again, a link to the academic calendar. And for registration, um, this might be um, you know, things along the side here, add drop, class hour schedule, cross registration, holds, pass no credit, time ticket, wait list, etc. So you can see how that breakdown um, is on the side and it's an easy, easy way to find what you need. Um, so academic requirements, of course, are things that you always need to know about. Um, we're going to talk about that, of course, a little bit further in this episode as well. Um, but things that I absolutely want to show you alongside the things that I just pointed to are if you are ever looking for a form you will find registration registrar forms a really nice trick is the control F where you can search anything on a web page um, as uh, shown here so when I type in whoop, forms uh, you can see all of the the forms options here so check status of a submitted form Registrar's Office, Submit a Form, Registrar's Office, um, and of course, Register Forms here. Clicking that link will take you to all the forms that you need to get basically all the stuff done that you need to get done. Um, and yes, a little bit further into this episode, I will actually walk you through several of these forms that are going to be incredibly useful, useful to you, maybe this semester, very, very likely this year, but absolutely 100% you will use these within the next four years of being at Rensselaer. All right, that's it for this video.